how I do it, please continue to watch. So to start off my brows, I will always be combing it with an uh, eyebrow comb. Now you could use this from the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Definer, or you can use any kind of eyebrow comb that you have. Anything that will do just to make sure all your hairs are going in the same direction. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Definer in the color Dark Brown. And I'm not too fond about, about this pencil, but you know, I work with it. I think the Brow Wiz is definitely easier to use. So if you guys are looking for more of an easier pencil to work with, definitely the Brow Wiz, Anastasia Brow Wiz is awesome. Love it. I'm out of it. But if I had it, I would be using it. So I'm going to be just defining my eyebrows with this pencil. I'm not going to be filling it in just because I haven't got the hang of it. And I feel like every time I do use it, it just doesn't come out nice. So I'm just going to be using this to define the brow shape. So I'm just going to be going in with a very light hand on the top and the bottom and going in gently and kind of figure out what kind of shape I'm aiming for. If you guys need to fill in more brows, like if you need to fill in more than you have, if that makes any sense, then you just have to be patient and do it slowly because it is very easy to mess up. And my biggest thing is I want my brows to look natural. Sometimes I do it too natural that you can't even tell that I filled them in. So I've been trying to work on that and just trying to make them look natural, but done. So yeah, it's been a little bit of a challenge for me. But if you can see, my brow has like no arch to it and I really like arched brows. So I'm going to be taking this brow definer and I'm just going to kind of create an arch myself. I just want to apologize for the lipstick that was on my tooth throughout this whole tutorial. It's you pretty embarrassing. That arch right there. It's all up to you. If you don't want to get into the detail and you don't want to, you know, create brow that you don't have, just fill them in and you will definitely see a difference. But I'm just going to be defining this and moving on to the next product. So after I fill you that part and define my brow, I'm going to be going in with the MAC brow pencil. It's in the color taupe. I will definitely leave the link down below. I'm not sure if that's exactly what it's called, but this brow pencil is amazing. It's literally so small, but it like comes on your eyebrows so natural, so I literally feel like I'm like adding hair to my brow, and it just looks so natural, and uh, I love it. So I would definitely recommend this, especially for beginning beginners. It's very easy to use. It might take a little more time than if I was going to do the brow definer, just because it takes a while to get the color in the filling this you want, but you're just going to be following your brows in the same directions as they're growing. And just fill in, fill, fill, fill. Since I just did get my eyebrows done, this is a little bit easier than it usually is for me. Um, keeping up with your brows is important. I feel like your makeup just goes on a lot smoother. Even when I first started out makeup in like 7th grade, I was like, I need to get my eyebrows done. Every time I get my eyebrows done, my eyeshadow just looks so much better. And it's true, like I just feel like those hairs get in the way sometimes. And now you're just gonna be filling in as much as you want. Now, do not get frustrated and do not give up. If your brow is messy, there is always time to use the MAC 212 flat definer or whatever flat definer you have and clean them up. I really, 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 really think this step is so important. You can use any type of concealer, anything, pretty much. If you have foundation, that's all you have, you could use your foundation for this. And you're just gonna put a little bit of it on your hand or wherever you like. I'm using the Naked Urban Decay Skin Concealer. I absolutely love this concealer. I People ranked it and raved about it, so I had to go pick it up. This is in the color light, so I think it's great to highlight the brows. So I go in, when I clean up my brows, I want more of a highlight to really embrace the brows. So I'm going to be using the MAC 212 Flat Definer Brush to just clean this up. Now I already have my shadows on, usually I don't have my shadow on. So I can really, really, really highlight it and bring down the product. But since I already have eyeshadow on, I do not want this to get mixed in with the product that I already have on. So I'm just going to be doing this very carefully and with a lot lesser product than I usually would go in that's basically it. I just clean up my brow. It's two seconds. It's so worth the time. Sometimes it does take longer, but you know what? It's so worth it. Look how much... This brow... I feel like you need to do your brows. Like, even if I'm going out and I have no makeup on, I do my brows. Because I'm just like... I look like... Without the brows. Like, no matter what, I need my brows filled in. So the last step, I'm going to be taking the NYX Tinted Brow Mascara. 
Another way you can do your brows is with like a gel. I know NYX has a good eyebrow gel that you could use and I usually use the MAC 266 brush to apply that. But, you know, this is my daily eyebrow routine, so I just wanted to share this with you. If you guys want to see other ways how to do your brows, I will definitely upload more tutorials. But this is great to just keep all those hairs in place. I don't like to put a lot on because this is a little bit different than my eyebrow color. But I'm just really just gliding this over and just combing the brows in the direction they're supposed to go. So it stays. Alright, so as I completed this brow, I'm going to be keeping my mouth shut by I do this brow so you guys can just focus on the motions that I'm doing with the pencil. So, here I go. I made a little bit of an error right here. I'm going to be cleaning that up. don't want right here you don't want to like have like that weird kind of brow I guess brush to apply or another eyeliner brush of your choice. You can use the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner which has been my go-to for a while now. So depending on how your first wing liner goes, it kind of, you know, triggers how the next one's going to look because you can't really go back. You just want to connect this to your lid because I know sometimes I forget and I have like a wing sticking out from nowhere. And very gentle on this one. I'm like in a rush, so I'm like a little bit nervous because I really can't mess up. And 
then that is my wing liner. So now I'm gonna be doing the other eye, which is the most nerve-wracking thing in the world because you gotta make them even, you gotta make them look exactly. Another thing with the brows, I just wanna put this out there, your eyebrows are not twins, they are sisters. So I know um, my right eyebrow is always easier than my left. It's because they're different, so you really have to, you know, get accustomed to your brows and get accustomed to the shape and really learn how to work both of them and make them look like twins when they're really not. So yes, and the same thing with wing liner, you need them to be twins. I'm gonna be building up this liner and just kinda... Sometimes my wings turn out to be these thick lines because I'm trying to fix them. And there you go. That's how I get my wing liner. I'm going to be just, you know, zooming through my lashes. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this look. Um, if you guys have any suggestions on new tutorials that you want to see, let me know. I know a lot of you requested or a Kylie Jenner inspired tutorial, which I'm trying to get the lip kits before I do that tutorial, but I did order some dupes so I can kind of do like a Kylie inspired tutorial with the dupes because I know if you're on lucky like I am, you haven't got your hands on them. Literally every time she puts them back in stock, I'm at work. So like I have the page open and I have it in my cart and by the time I get back to my phone, it's sold out. So if you guys know what it feels like to have that happen to you, I'm going to give you guys alternatives. So I'm using my Sephora utensil. I don't know why I call it utensil. Maybe I should get the name for it. But I absolutely love it. And of course, the House of Lashes eye, eye lash glue. I'm using an Ardell Soft Touch eyelashes. I'm waiting for an order from House of Lashes to come in. I ordered some new lashes. I'm very bad with keeping my lashes. Like, literally, I have them for a day and I leave them. It's unfortunate, but you know what? I need to start, you know, really taking care of it, taking care of my lashes, because they get expensive, and then I feel like every week I'm ordering new lashes, and I'm just like, bro, I don't have the money for this. Like, I'm trying to buy a new foundation, I'm trying to buy this, 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 and I'm buying the same thing over and over again. That's why I hate running out of products, because I feel like I know that this product is amazing, like the Laura, Lori, Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. I literally run out of it so many times, but like I have to buy it holy grail product but it's just like I wish it was like a free refill because like I'm trying to buy other stuff that I never tried before but you know I have not had a setting powder compared to it so if you guys are looking for a setting powder there you are I was never a good eyelash person making sure that your lash glue is dry is so important la, la, la. If you don't have this utensil, you can use tweezers. They work just as well. Uh, I'm bad with tweezers. This has literally saved my life, and I definitely introduced this in probably every single of my tutorials. If I incorporate the lashes, I use it every day. You guys know the deal. I really, really appreciate everyone giving the feedback, and of course, subscribing. If you guys have any other suggestions to try besides the Kylie Jenner tutorial, please let me know. That is going to be 
coming soon. Like I said, I'm waiting for the dupes as well as the Kylie kit. I might be doing both videos just because I don't want to wait and you guys want to see it, so I don't want to be waiting. I hope you learned a little bit something. I know wing liner can be a little difficult as well as brows, but just remember that you can do it. Practice makes perfect. Plus, if you guys have any suggestions on upcoming videos, please, please, please feel free to message me. Thank you. You can add me. Try to get more. You can figure that out.